But this guy I killed last night, he just pushed an AK-47 in my face. Hey, Mr. Jones. Now at 5.30, a Miami man talks about turning the tables on a gunman he says tried to rob him. Tonight, that alleged robber is dead. And we are hearing from a woman who says she, too, was the victim of his crime. CBS source Peter Dench spoke with her and has reaction from the man who killed the would-be robber. He joins us from the neighborhood. Peter, what's he saying? Well, Elliot and Ruta Bay, it is indeed unusual to hear from anyone so quickly after they shot and killed someone. This man said that he did what he had to do and would do it again. He said he was forced to fire when someone broke into his van. This guy I killed last night, he just pushed an AK-47 in my face. And as a guy with born and go in Kingston town, I'm not gonna go out like a punk. 60-year-old Donovan Stewart says it was about three in the morning when a gunman tried to get into his van to rob him. This man who knocked on my door, while I did sleep. His girlfriend and 11 year old son were with him, and he says he had to act quickly. So I said, Well, all right, this is what that what going to happen now. You're going to kill me, and me going to kill you. Let's see. So, quick thinking, quick reflex, so I'm trained. I'm a security officer, I got a G license, I got a concealed weapon license, and I'm a member of the NRA. While he pushed the key in my face, it was so close, I get the nozzle away from my face. And I empty my glock in my, in my chest. He demonstrates what he did at Northwest 6th Court and 70th Street. When he fly my door open, the only thing he do is tuck the AK in my face. And my gun was right there, and I said, ah, oh, what are you doing? And that's how I get him. Miami police officer Mike Vega says it appears this was self-defense. Um, everybody's cooperating, but we still need more information. It was a split-second decision. To defend my life and my family, I have the possibility to defend innocent people. I'll do it too. You know? You just don't wake me up in the morning and I push a AK up my nose and think you're going to live. No. They tried the wrong person with that. Delilah Gator says a dead gunman had just robbed her Saturday morning of $600 in cash, her iPhone, and her VW. He had the gun and he forced me to open the door. I was very devastated and emotional. That's crazy. This man has a family. Like, why would you rob somebody that's living in a van? Now, in light of that case, Miami police tell us they're looking into previous robberies that the dead gunman may have committed. They've also confiscated Donovan Stewart's gun and van as a matter of routine procedure because he no longer has a van and is, in fact, homeless. Police are also offering to help him. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. All right, Peter, thank you.